Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Tuesday, January the 23rd, 2018. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses for the day. We do create multiple hypotheses. We have two main hypos. Uh, those are our regular uh, trading hypotheses. Uh, we do not know what the market's going to do, therefore we wait to see who's in control and then we execute the plan that best suits the market. We do create two alternative hypotheses, three and four, for expansion days like we got yesterday. This is a, uh, a uh, subscription room. If you're interested in checking it out, send me an email at quantumfutures at gmail.com. There's no website, there's no blog, this is not a commercial venture. We do everything live here in the go-to and we do live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. So uh, taking a look at yesterday. Yesterday we had uh, Hypo 3 play out. We... Uh, did not get much of an opening swing at all. We opened auction just in range, just out of value, and the buyers took control, brought us right up to the uh, prior day uh, high at uh, 28.15, our all-time, which was our all-time high at that time, and then basically broke up, pushed up into the 22. We're in hypo three, uh, was an open drive, and a break above the prior day range at a new all-time high and a move towards the 20, uh, 2820s. We went sideways at that point in time, and then we got some more continuation up into the 28 and went sideways for most of the afternoon, and then they rallied into the close, and they closed near the all-time highs that we put in in the RTH at 2836.50. Closing at the highs, leaving the, uh, the VPOC, uh, yet again below us, creating multiple distribution trend day. So we were expecting a uh, continuation in the Globex. And, uh, of course, we did get the continuation. We got a new Globex all-time high at 28.42. So take a look at the uh, overnight. Overnight <clears throat> inventory is about 50% net positive, net short. But the key here is we opened up. We immediately went up and put a new all-time high in, uh, a unequalized all-time high at 28.32, came back inside, fought the upper distribution from yesterday, and then broke back up, broke above the 28, uh, 28.38 uh, and a quarter uh, double top that was put in, and then uh, Europe's opening took us up into the 42, and then we basically went sideways, and then this morning they sold it all off, came down right to the uh, the lower end of this LVN distribution that runs from 3150 down to 2875. A nice uh, Fubar, Mr. Sneaky, uh, long setup and rotated back up into uh, you know towards that 36 that uh, 3650 that was uh, put in in the RTH, but basically now going sideways and uh, very ugly profile again this market just does not want to go down at all um, we have a new unequalized all-time high between the uh, globex and the uh, rth this is not likely going to hold although it's a pretty big move yesterday uh, that we made you know from the all-time high at 28.15 up to 28.42, so we could see some balancing or some retracing uh, today. Taking a look at the macro, you can see that uh, yesterday was a, another breakout day. Uh, this uh, this slow grind up uh, continues. Uh, yet another session in the in this early uh, January of 2018. Uh, trend type profile uh, and put in that uh, RTH all-time high at 
Um, not a lot to guide us uh, right now because we only got one day of, uh, of uh, work done in this area, area and as well as the Globex. Uh, but uh, key areas to watch is going to be that, uh, you know, that LVN area that runs from 28.31.50 down to 28.28 uh, and a quarter. And uh, below that, uh, we're looking for uh, a move back to the 26.75. And uh, then we've got the half back from yesterday, which is at 22.50. It's an LVN at 22.75. And, you know, barring a break below that, they move back down into the 20s and possibly back to the two-day balance, which is not much balance, but down at the 28.12. So uh, taking a look at uh, you know our overnight session, our all-time high and overnight high uh, in Globex all-time high is up here at 42. Our overnight low is down at uh, 2868. Multiple distribution days, so the very simple. Uh, we start this uh, this uh, key LVN area, which is likely to get tested uh, today on any pullback. So it starts at uh, 31 and goes down to the 28. So that in itself is going to be a slush zone for us. We want to either be short into it or long from the bottom of it, but uh, most likely uh, shorting it if we break below uh, the 31.50. The value area from yesterday does not mean much. We should take a look at the uh, TPO we do have a single down at 28.50. Uh, that will be the main target uh, short today. Uh, other than that, there's another one all the way down at uh, 28.16 um, if we do get a big down day, but not sure if that's going to actually set up for us. And that's all the singles we have from yesterday. Of course, uh, you've got uh, a target above. We did not get the VPOC shift. The VPOC stayed down here at the 28.20. So if we do hold or bounce off of this LVN area, the main objective to the upside right now will be the 38.50 at 35.50, and then a breakout above the uh, 36.50 uh, would take us, you know, towards the uh, overnight VPOC, which could shift, but it hasn't shifted yet. We'll have to wait to see. And that's at 28.39.50. And then, of course, the all-time high. Uh, below the 28.75, uh, uh, we have target down here at the 26.75. And then we get back to the half back area, which you know, the 50% uh, the retracement of this breakout candle is down at 2822.75. Um, the IB is down here at 2250. And then the VWAP is at 2425. So I'll use that as a trade area into this target down here at 2250 with the thought that we should break down to uh, the 2820 uh, naked VPOC. But we've left a lot of naked VPOX below. And then the value area doesn't mean much, but we've got an LVN down here at the 1675 uh, and that uh, single down there at 16. So that becomes a trade area at the 16. And then a break below that down to the 09 and a quarter open. Uh, and that uh, naked VPOX down here at 2804. And then the range low down here at 27.99.50. So really simple uh, levels today because basically we're trading against yesterday's RTA session and the overnight session. There's really not more information that we can get from uh, this ugly profile. So because we had <coughs> a bit of a move. Last night, and a new all-time high at 42. We are expecting a move back up to the 28.42. I don't know if that's what we're going to get. Uh, I'm going to switch my Hypo 1 and Hypo 2 plans today, but I'm going to give them equal weight, which means that you know 
We should be looking for continuation and a move up to the 28.42, but I think we could end up with a pause day today or a take back day. So my hypo one is actually going to be uh, uh, a negative uh, hypothesis. So I'm looking at an open auction in range. I'm looking for a move up into closing the naked close at the 35 and a quarter, maybe a false breakout. But I'm looking for a rotation back down into this LVN area, chopping in this LVN area, and then pushing back down into the 26 area, which is where I'm expecting them to uh, to base. Somewhere between 28, 26.75 and 22.50, I'm expecting them to base and basically start chopping and coming up and filling in this uh, this low volume area between the 35 and 50 and the 26.75 and creating a inside a possible inside day. Uh, so that is hypo one. Hypo two is uh, basically what our hypo ones have been uh, for the most part this year. Open auction uh, in range, a move down into the 28, 26.75 uh, area to 22.50. Somewhere down here, finding buyers, putting in a uh, impulse wave up and chopping into the 2850 uh, uh, area to the 3150 area and then pushing up and going and moving up towards the uh, unequalized all time high up at uh, 2842. Our 20 period full session ATR, average true range, is running at 1971. Uh, so basically, off of the overnight low of 2875, our upside daily ATR is all the way up at 46, which means we have range extension to put in new all time highs without. Uh, without breaking and uh, going into price discovery. And off of the uh, overnight high of 42, our downside daily ATR is at 22 and a quarter, which is right at that uh, half back and, uh, and that uh, key LVN from yesterday. So hypo three has got to be another continuation day. So an open auction in range, uh, failure to take out the overnight low, a push up uh, through yesterday's, uh, this is a week high from yesterday at uh, 36.50, a push up, come up and, uh, and take out the all time high, make a new all time high and then balance and go sideways and then you know, rotate back down into the close, probably somewhere around the 35, 36 area, uh, maybe even just the 30, uh, 39.50 and uh, closing somewhere around there. Hypo 4 is a take back day, a open auction uh, in range, failure to break out of the prior day. Sellers step in early, take us down to that 22.50 area, chop here, then fail and push through down into that 16 area and back to uh, this two day balance, which is down here at the 2812. Uh, so again, not a lot of, uh, a, a lot of uh, auction to uh, trade against. So we have to really pay attention to the overnight levels and the, uh, the levels from yesterday's RTH session. Taking a look at gold, um, gold, uh, is getting a bit of uh, a move higher. The VPOC is shifted up. This should be, come on. Yeah, well, let me do it right now. It's not gonna make a difference in the VPOC. Uh, the VPOC has shifted slightly higher now to 35. Our value area high on the micro composite VPOC has uh, uh, shifted up as well, 30, basically 38 level, and the microposit value area low is down here at the 29 level. Uh, still finding some uh, some balance, but they're you know they're grinding this uh, this uh, this gold market a little bit higher. So watch for the breakout above the 38 level, 
pushing to that 42. Anything above the 42, our main target is still up in the mid uh, 1350s. And any break below 28 should take a move down to the lower side of this distribution in this uh, CLVN down at 13.25. Anything below that, look for a move back to the balance that we broke out of again around that 18.19 area. So that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.